Meta, you're taking attendance? Yep. Um, we've got Meta, Blunt Weapons Guy, Captain Bedtime, and the Amazing Hairman. Oh, and Circle of Fireballs, of course. What? There's only four of us. Where's everyone else? The uh, Crime Stalker took Stunstruck and Sky Sprinter up north to track that criminal on the run, and everyone else is still out west. Yeah, everyone else. Uh, except Robbie. He should be here. Oh, here we go. me to go up north. I'm great at hunting down criminals. Look, I think he just wanted to be low profile. I can be low profile. Eh. Oh yeah? You're yellow. Who the hell are you hiding from? I'm hiding from whomever. Oh, good. Robbie made it before the meeting started. What the hell are you started? Hey guys, what I miss? Good morning, Robbie. Uh, thanks for joining us. Crime Stalker took all the cool people up north. What? No, he didn't. You're still here. Thank you. Look, it wasn't about who's cool or not. It was about who could best- We should start the meeting. Right. Thank you, Meta. So, first things first, costumes. Now, this is- Do I need to be here for this? Yes, it's a team meeting. But like, half the team's missing. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god, look, we just went over this. Oh, we did? That's good to know. No, I'm with Sleepyhead on this one. I, I know. We really should be getting on with the meeting. Right again, Meta. How important can this meeting be if half the group is missing it? Costumes! This is a subject we have neglected for far too long. I mean, come on. Are you guys even trying? Hey, I'm wearing orange. Look, I don't see what the big deal is here. If I do my job right, they're not gonna remember what I was wearing. Okay, that is terrible. Tell me about it. Again, the overgrown bumblebee has an opinion. Would you knock it off? I kind of like his costume. See? It distracts people from realizing he doesn't have powers. Hey! Look, it's just something to think about. I have powers! We know. Look, it's just something to think about, okay? It helps with brand recognition if you guys have some kind of iconography to represent yourselves. And just a color doesn't count. And beating someone half to death in an alleyway with brain trauma certainly doesn't count either. He overcharged the kid for ice cream. The guy was like the devil. Just something to think about. Now, the next thing is pretty important, so everyone pay attention. Captain Bedtime. Captain... <sighs> is she asleep? Captain Bedtime. Captain, can you wake her up? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm so tired and you are so boring. All right, just try to stay awake for the next... Like seven minutes? Uh, thanks. So, Duplicate is officially a criminal vigilante. All right, apparently he's been using his powers to rob local businesses for a while now, so... If you see him, you know. Hey, how do we know that's not like a ploy by the villains to get us to attack him? Well, because the heroes of New Haven sent us a memo last night and... Yeah, but... And Titan Nick announced it in his press conference yesterday morning. Damn it. That guy was cool. No way! His power was stupid. Oh, his power's stupid. That's rich coming from Hair Man. That's the amazing hair man to you. Um, I think you actually have to be amazing to say that. 
Well, who exactly made you captain? What are you even captain of? Sleep? Can you even hold rank over something like that? I can Guys, literally control Guys, please. Win. One more thing. All right, listen. The press conference is tomorrow morning. So if there's anything you'd like me to report, tell me now. Because it's going to be too early in the morning for you guys to be there. And I'm going to go patrolling tonight, so you won't be able to catch up to me later. Oh, I can find you. Only thing I have to do is follow the trail of ash and screaming burn victims. Jesus, Kevin. Even I didn't see that coming. You know, I'm very careful about how I use my fire powers. You see... In the first week that I was a vigilante, I was chasing a thief who had stolen a purse. He ran into a big house that I assumed he lived in, so I followed him inside, and when I had a clear shot, I... Oh, God. Forget I said anything. I have something to report to the press. What's that? I have powers! And what exactly would you like me to tell the press your powers are? Ha ha ha. Well, don't actually tell them what my amazing powers are. I don't want to give too much about myself away, you know, just in case supervillains are watching. Oh, that explains the mask. Well, the mask is to preserve my secret identity and for the safety of my loved ones and the people around me when I'm not in the suit. What? Uh, Hair Man. The Amazing Hair Man, what? <sighs> the Amazing Hair Man, you don't actually think that that mask hides your secret identity, do you? Well, of course it does. Steven, we all know who you are. Steven? Who's Steven? Probably some handsome guy. Probably spells his name with a V. I thought it was just the accent your hair. Give it a rest, kid. Okay, but how do you all know my name? You work at the coffee place we all go to. You wear a name tag. I'm pretty sure one time it actually said the Amazing Hair Man. That was for Halloween. I had my mask on then. Wait, that wasn't me. <sighs> all right, meeting adjourned since none of you have anything to actually report to the press. Hey, hey. <laughs> Tell them we're single. No. Tell them about my power. Tell them about your power. Tell them that you can, at will, make all of your hair fall out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's cooler than that. Imagine you're fighting somebody, and all of a sudden, poof, all their hair falls out. Wouldn't you be stunned? And that's when I get you. Or imagine somebody's got me by the hair, and then I just, poof. Okay, and then what? You wait a few months for it to grow back so it becomes useful or noticeable again? I, I just don't see the point. And what's your superpower? You off-put people to death? Shut up! Alright, meeting adjourned. Thank you for coming, everybody. So, once again, we are fully compliant with city and state regulations, and if you ask any sergeant or high-ranking police officer, they'll tell you that these special men are a fully official and qualified supergroup. I'm sorry, you say your group was called the Special Men? Yeah. Hey, I got a question for you guys, alright? How about this name for my kid? Monkey? Wrench McGee. He could go by Wrench for short. I mean, come on, it's good, right? <laughs> oh, are there no more superheroes? I'm just supposed to interview members of the group. No, no, we're, we're superheroes. I'm, I'm Robbie, the, the guy that can move stuff. I, I mean, we're, we're wearing orange. And this is Blunt Weapons guy. He, uh... What is it that you do exactly? Oh, uh, well... I beat people up with a bat, or a club, uh, or any other blunt weapon, and ladies, we're single. <laughs> any questions for me, the amazing hair man? Uh, didn't you make me my coffee this morning? No. No, that must have been somebody else. Certainly not anyone uh, special or amazing enough to be in the special man, but he could probably use a raise. Okay, and what are your powers? That is classified. Hi, I'm Sky Sprinter. I was up north last night with a small team, trying to apprehend a criminal. We caught him last night, and uh, I, then I flew back, back down here myself. 
I can take questions. Sky's printer. Do you do anything with ink? Like, could you tell me where the closest place to get ink is? Huh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Sky's printer, can you fax things too? Uh, oh, I, I see what's going on. Uh, my name is Sky Sprinter, not Sky's Printer. I uh, sprint in the sky. <laughs> can you print in color as well, or only black and white? Duplicate? Is that you uh, making copies of yourself again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you son of a... Uh, do you want to be here? You look like you'd rather be sleeping. You're right. Personally, I thought this end segment where we talk to the press, it, it's a little bit gimmicky. I mean, what are we? The office? Plus, we're running over time as it is. If we were to designate more time to anything, it should have been the beginning, you know, where we're introducing ourselves. Uh-huh. And what exactly do you do again? Shut up. Hero!